What's up, beautiful people? I'll be sharing my very stress free hair care routine for this video, so let's just get straight into it. I have thick, fussy type hair, and my hair shrinks really, really quickly. So I ensure that I am ready to like do my next hairstyle immediately when I am taking out a particular hairstyle. Or if I take out a hairstyle and I'm not ready to like do anything to my hair, I just put it in this twist. As you can see, I had um ponytail in and after i took out my ponytail i just put it in this twist because i wasn't ready to do anything to my hair now after putting my hair in twist whenever i'm ready to like take out my twist and like refresh my hairstyle i have to wash my hair first that is like really really important so before i wash my hair i like to do a pre pull treatment now a lot of people say they do not do pre pull treatment this is like the most important part of my own hair care routine for me it makes like my wash days really really stress free now for pre pull treatment i like to like spray my hair with water first just to get my whole hair well saturated and so all the products i want to use in can actually get into my hair so I spray it with water after I've gotten the water all over my hair. And you know like with four type hair, you need to make sure that you're doing extra work to actually get the products to enter into your hair. Maybe not for just four type hair, like more low porosity hair. If you don't know about porosities, I'm just going to put a detail on the screen to show you the different porosities and how to know your porosity and stuff like that. So I need to do extra work to make sure that the products get into my hair. So I spray it with water first. Going with warm water so you can actually open up your cuticles and get your products in. After I spray my hair with water and the water is every in every part of my hair, I then go in with my leave-in conditioner. If you are not new on my channel, then you already know the conditioner that I use. I use um, Avila leave-in conditioner. It literally gets into my hair and like it detangles really, really well. After I get my conditioner in, I then go in with my detangler. My detangler is a bunch of oils. I think I'm just going to make like a separate video talking about the different products that I use on my hair. So after I do that, I then take out this twist while working in sections. So basically, I don't take down all the twists at once. I can take down like four, five or six strands depending on how much my hand can contain at that minute. And then I work on that before I move to the next sections So after taking out the twist for the sections that I want to work on at the minute, I check to see if it is still as moisturized as I need it to be. And if it is not, I just pour in some more water to activate the all the conditioner and all the other stuff that I have put in because it is obviously drying out, which is why it is not as moisturized. And after I spray in water, I go in with leave-in conditioner and then I finger the tangle first. This is what I do immediately after I have taken out the twist. I don't go in with any comb yet. I finger the tangle and then after I finger the tangle, I go in with wide tits comb. This is really really important and the way I comb my hair is I start from the end of my hair first and then I work my way to the root of my hair. What this does is that it detangles any type of tangling or any type of restriction that is met at the end of your hair first before you now get to the top. So when you are combing from the root of your hair down, you will not be met with any type of restrictions. If you start combing your hair from the root of your hair you are going to mix with a lot of restriction and the process of like pulling it out or yanking out the comb from your hair is just going to cause a lot of breakage that you don't even want to experience and there would also be a lot of pain so just prevent that by just doing this now let me just speak briefly on the benefits of pre pulling before you shampoo your hair so the first thing it does is that it moisturizes your hair and then in turn also softens it so this makes detangling really, really easy for you to do and you would not experience any type of breakage or rather you would not experience excessive breakage because your hair is still going to break nonetheless. It will not just be excessive. And another thing that it does is that it breaks down any type of dirt or build up in your hair and this will also make 
um detangling really really easy for you and it will curb breakage so if you wear braids for like a really really long time you will notice that at the roots of the braid you would see this type of um build up in there that makes your hair like clung together and it will be very very difficult for you to like take it down or rather detangle that part without experiencing any type of excessive breakage this is going to break down all that build up and make it really really easy for you to like get into your hair and detangle that part without any type of breakage another thing that's made like hair care really really stress-free for me is working in sections if you have noticed all through the beginning of this video till this point you would see that i've been working in section and yes i work in section from the beginning till the very end of my old hair care routine so i make sure that my hair is always twisted in different sections that my hand can handle there's no point of working in sections if the section that you have cut out is not something that your hand can actually get in now working in sections helps to like ensure that i can actually get into every part of my hair and it makes the whole process less overwhelming for me as i said i have really really thick hair and like when i don't work in sections because there was a time when i first started that I would just pop into the shower and start washing my hair and i've realized that i don't usually get my hair completely clean but doing this just makes sure that every part of my hair is clean and also i can already see what part i have done and what part i am yet to work on hence making it like less stressful and less overwhelming for me also if you remember at the beginning of this video i talked about how my hair shrinks really really quickly working in sections and twisting off each section prevents my hair from shrinking as fast as it would if my hair were not twisted when my hair is made i ensure that i moisturize from time to time so of course you know that i would have a lot of product build up whenever i am ready to like take down my hair and because of this i like to use a clarifying shampoo to wash my hair so what a clarifying shampoo does is that it actually strips off all the dirt in your hair completely and ensures that your hair is clean now the clarifying shampoo that i use is the avila black shampoo and then when i use it to wash my hair when my hair is not completely clean it leaves like a greasy feel on my hair the place turns white and like the place is like really really greasy so i know that that part is not clean if you've been watching my videos then you already know this if you keep watching you will see that i keep patting my hair after i have washed it off or rather rinsed it off that is what i'm looking for i'm trying to see if there's any greasy part in my hair or any part that has turned white let me just talk about how many times i wash my hair now this depends on how much build up i have and how much or how quickly the build up gets out of my hair so i don't really have like a routine like oh this is how many times i wash my hair because i'm using the clarifying shampoo i know when my hair is clean and when it is not clean and i just keep washing till it is finally clean and this might be two times this might be three times but most of the time it's three times and it's clean now let's talk about the temperature of water i used to wash my hair i used to rinse out my hair with warm water like after i wash it and then i rinse out my deep conditioner with cold water or lukewarm water but recently i have started just washing my hair with lukewarm water and then i rinse out still with lukewarm water and if i'm being honest i didn't notice a difference when i wash out my hair with warm water i realized that my hair feels drier than when i wash it with lukewarm water so i just started using lukewarm water now after washing my hair the next thing that i do is i deep condition and when i deep condition i like to slap the deep conditioner in like i'm slapping on relaxer to my hair you know how the relaxer coats every part of the hair exactly that is exactly what i do with deep conditioners because i just feel like it needs to get into every part of my hair and my hair strand and when i put it in i like to go over it just as you can see me do here and then i go over it again with a white tooth comb just so that it can get into every strand of my hair 
now before i used to deep condition my hair every week and this is because i used to take out my hair every week and like do another hairstyle the next week but recently i have started wearing my braids for a longer period i wear my braids for a week uh not a week i had my braids for a month or even more than a month there was this hairstyle that i did that i think i carried for two months but i leave it in for a month a month max i have just been doing this so that i can see if there is a difference between taking out your hair every week and then taking out your hair every month as i said i used to take it out every week and i just feel like that is a lot of manipulation that is going on with my hair even though i don't do like a lot of stuff to my hair but i just still feel like doing this every week can maybe affect my hair negatively i can't really tell but one thing i do know is that when i was doing this every week i did notice a lot of um positive difference in my hair my hair was growing a lot faster i, I just started like my hair care journey or rather my natural hair journey during that period so i noticed like really really fast growth but now that i've started taking out my hair every month i really can't tell if there's a difference as yet i have just started but as i go i'm just going to see if i notice any type of difference and if i do i'm going to let you guys know whatever treatment you are doing to your hair you need to ensure that your hair is absorbing it because if it is not then there is no point you're just wasting your time when you use in deep conditioners like this, you would see that it turns white or whatever color that it turns into. But you need to ensure that your hair is clear, like the color of your hair is still the color of your hair with no white. That is how you know that your hair, your hair is absorbing the products that you put in. And this is how I do mine. I put in my shower cap and then I wear a heat cap. And as you can see, after I've taken out the shower cap, you would see that my hair is pretty much clear this is how you know that the product has been absorbed by your hair if it still turns white even after you've put it in a heat cap then you know that it is time to trash the deep conditioner that you are using now if you do not have a heat cap just wrap your hair in like a plastic bag and just leave it in there for as long as you want it to be there and then when you are done rinse it out and as you can see we are also rinsing out in sections just so that we can get every product out of the hair completely so we are out of the shower and as you can see we have still maintained the sections that we worked with in the shower and this is how much breakage i got all together from washing to everything that i did now after i come out of the shower i go ahead to like moisturize my scalp using my oil mix for air growth i have different oil mix depending on um the issues that i am tackling at the minute my scalp gets can get dry like really really quickly and sometimes i have dandruff so i just have products for this thing after i have gone ahead to like use the oil i massage using my hands and after that i just get into using a scalp massager i have a video on my channel already that explains the benefits of massaging your scalp i'm just going to leave it in the description box so you can just go check it out this is not just beneficial to your hair it also helps to like relax you i always feel so relaxed when i'm done with this and after that i just go ahead to like moisturize my hair and then i finger the tango and leave it in that twist or just get ready to make any hairstyle that i'm ready to make most times i make my hair immediately after i am done um, in the shower and then sometimes i wait till the next day i know you have learned a lot at this point and another thing i want you to take away from this video is when it comes to hair care sometimes it is not necessary for you to like follow all the trends and follow what everybody is saying you just need to understand your hair give it time understand it and know what works for it and just use that to work on your own hair let me know which part of my routine you would love to incorporate in yours in the comments and i will see you in the next one bye